please note. James! I don't care if it's been declassified. File 389X4 is not to be released without authorization from me. You cowardly, loathsome, lying! How could you? Computer, stop dictation. Nancy, what's wrong? As if you didn't know. <coughs> Nancy! How could you? Those two fighting? I can't believe it. I know what's going on at Biotech, and you cannot hide it from me. What kind of a beast are you? you you're a monster! How could I not know about this? <laughs> Mrs. Barkley? Uh, Mr. Barkley? Are you all right? What's happened here? Mrs. Barkley? Mr. Barkley? Lestrade? Here I am. Hmm. Mrs. Barclay came in last night and fought with her husband. He disappeared from this room, which was locked from the inside. The housekeeper was by the door the whole time, so the only way out is the window. Uh, a 20-story hmm. drop to the ground and no trace of an iron trail from a hovercraft. Where did he go? Hmm. You believe Mr. and Mrs. Barclay fought. He subdued her and then disappeared into thin air. The only question is, how he got away? No. The question is, how do you explain this? Fur? Hmm. From a pet, obviously. Unlikely. The coarseness of the fur would suggest a rather large pet. The size of one of us, I'd say. Are you suggesting he turned into an animal and climbed out the window? I suggest nothing without gathering sufficient evidence. Well, all I want to know is, where is Mr. Barclay? What could his wife say that would make him attack her and then disappear? Hmm. Maybe I'll find out when I question Mrs. Barclay. I'm going to the hospital now. Have you found poor Mr. Barclay yet? No, but with your help, perhaps we can. They've always been the perfect couple. Everyone said so. No signs of any antagonism? Well, they have the occasional mild tiff, but what couple doesn't? Mrs. Barclay seemed so happy when she left the house with her friend Amelia. But the Barclays fought last night. I guess it could have been over trouble at Biotech. It seemed a tremendous strain on Mr. Barclay, running a big company like that all by himself after her father died. Hmm. It's not easy for him. It's really her company, you know. And then to have the government start asking questions. What sort of question? An unofficial inquiry, they called it. Something about an experiment ten years ago. Ten years? What difference could it make now? These government investigations stir up more trouble than they're worth. Did you hear any of the argument? She said biotech several times when she was shouting at him. Monster, she said. Hmm. I'm sure the government poisoned her mind against him. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. But... but is that it? You've barely asked me anything. Something extreme must have happened after Mrs. Barclay left the house to make her return home in a rage. The only person we are certain she talked to was her friend Amelia, which means we must talk to her. Hmm... Strange. We've picked up a trail. The only question is, a trail of what? It looks like an ionizer blast, Mark. Several of them, and other signs of a struggle. With what would seem to be a great beast. In the heart of New London? Preposterous! I admit it seems improbable, but not impossible. We cannot ignore the mounting evidence. The medical report is accurate. Her brain scan indicates no permanent damage, but her pulse and respiration are irregular. She must have gone into shock when she hit her head. 
It's possible she was already in shock when she was knocked unconscious. James Barclay gone. Mrs. Barclay unconscious. But there is one person who might tell us why this has all happened. Mrs. Barclay's friend, Amelia. Come, we must find her. What is it? That noise I heard was an intruder. He looked like some kind of monster, but that just couldn't be. Whatever it was, it's gone. Vanished. Hmm. Don't dismiss your observation so easily, Lestrade. We still have much to discover. The fur is from some sort of hybrid species. I suggest we send it to New Scotland Yard for further analysis. I believe Tennyson's street contacts might also be of use to us in this matter. But first, an interview with Mrs. Barclay's friend, Amelia. Nancy's been my friend since childhood. I, I've no idea why she and James fought. But if he's gone, it's good riddance. But how do you mean? Nancy married him on the rebound. He treated her well enough, but... When you were out with Nancy that night, you met no one? No. Uh, a street beggar, that's all. Nancy thought she knew him. I know nothing of James's whereabouts, and I don't care. My only concern is for Nancy. Hmm. Deidre, she is on her way. Follow that hover cat. I always wanted to say that. So, the guy's a genetic engineering genius. Award winner. Philanthropist? What's this? Declassified. Military experiments? File 389X4. Hm. Restricted? Wait a minute. Come on. Come on! Zap! Someone's locking me out from the mainframe! Mr. Holmes, I followed Amelia to some hotel in the DNA alley. As I suspected, our mysterious hybrid may be the result of illicit bioengineering. She's making a delivery. I'm going to find out who she's shopping for. I already have my suspicions. Stay out of there, Deidre. That is an order. I'll just have a quick peek. What's going on down here? I'm trying to access some files upstairs. Hey! I'm talking to you! Police business! Barkley? Halt! It's turning out to be one of those days. Congratulations, Lestrade. You've done it again. Words come down from upstairs. You've been ordered to leave Biotech out of your investigation. You'll excuse me for bringing this up, sir, but it's a little hard to investigate the disappearance of the head of a major company without looking into his company for suspects and motives. Computer off. An investigation's already underway, from above. You're in the way, Lestrade. You've been removed from the case. Exactly whose way am I in? The government's? Or Barclays? So this, this, this thing jumps up in the window and roars! I took off down the fire escape. I'm telling you, it wasn't human. Fortunately, it didn't follow me. Good job of observation, Deidre. But I must remind you again not to wander into dangerous situations, especially against my instructions. I've got to admit, you were right about that one, Mr. Holmes. Interesting, Tennyson. So, the DNA of the fur doesn't correspond to any known species. 
While there may still be unknown species in many parts of the world, it's unlikely we'd find them roaming the streets of New London. Maybe the Fern Barkley study was left by that thing I saw. Hmm, possibly. Though we still don't know what the creature is or why it would be there. Tennyson, see if you can find out anything about the diet of this creature. So, biotech is under investigation. Then, at the same time, the president of the company disappears, and we find traces of an unknown animal in his home. You think there's a connection between the investigation and the monster? Bioengineering wasn't nearly as regulated ten years ago as it is today. Biotech could have been involved in experiments that would be illegal now. We need to know more to be certain. When we have gathered enough information, we will have our answer and our proof. I agree, Holmes. All roads lead to biotech. I don't care what Grayson said. If someone's willing to blow up their storage system to hide something, I'm willing to put my neck on the line to find out what. I'm telling you for the last time, Mr. Holmes. Nancy and I passed a beggar yesterday, that's all. Yet after Mrs. Barclay met this man, her whole life changed. She and Mr. Barclay fought. She's unconscious. He's missing. I believe you are spending time away from your friend's bedside with that same beggar, who is evidently in need of medical attention. I... I don't know what you mean. Analysis of fur samples found at the Barclays indicate a deficiency in digestive enzymes. The same enzymes found in the fruits and tablets you bought for him. Shall I tell you who is in the room you visited? He is part man, part beast, covered in fur. Judging from this and other evidence, he is over six feet tall and easily capable of carrying a grown man down a 20-story wall to the ground. Who knows what damage he could inflict on an innocent young girl. Victor would never hurt anyone. He was only trying to scare that girl who followed me. If this creature is innocent, then take us to him. Let us help. Nancy begged me to help Victor. He's had problems. He was affected in more ways than you can see. Nancy swore me to secrecy, and then Victor was hurt. He was attacked. Victor? I've brought some friends to help. Whoever or whatever you are, I know you care deeply for Nancy Barclay's safety. At the very least, she needs to know the truth of what happened. You may even find that we can help you. No one can help me now. I knew James Barkley long ago. We worked together at Biotech. I was Nancy's fiance. But that was another life and another time. When I was a geneticist named Victor Morris. Then came the experiment. Barkley ruined my life so that he could marry Nancy. I recently discovered the truth. I came back to confront him to try to understand. But then I saw Nancy. That's when I realized he had taken everything from me. Between what I knew and what Nancy told me, we realized Barclay had sabotaged the experiment. He had deliberately turned me into a monster. Nancy was beside herself. She went home to confront Barclay. He didn't want to listen to Nancy. I entered the study by the window when he tried to silence her. James and I fought. Nancy trying to stop us. I lost my head, carried Barclay outside, away from her. He stunned me with an ionizer. That's the last I saw of him. I've got to get in a biotech's remote storage system. <laughs> my hacking skills are dustier than my first ionizer. Hey, not as dusty as I thought. Hello, file number 389X4. 389X4 was a top secret genetic experiment for the military. Barclay convinced me it was safe to try my process on myself. I used genetic material from a Bengal tiger. It was supposed to give me stronger muscles, faster reflexes. I suppose that part of the experiment was successful at least. So, the program was scrapped. The creator and first subject, Victor Morris, was never heard from again. I was a monster. Barclay married my beloved Nancy and took over the company when her father died. I lost my love, my life, and now my liberty. 
But according to this, these files were declassified last month. Why try and keep it a secret? Is the military trying to erase their mistakes? This time you have gone huh? too far, Lestrade. Funny. I don't remember hearing a knock. You were specifically told to stop investigating biotech. My job's on the line now. They say I can't control my own people. Barclay's slimy assistant must have ratted me out. Whose side are you on, Chief? Crimes have been committed here! That's no longer your problem, Lestrade. Your badge and ionizer, please. I heard biotech was being investigated. That there were questions about the early experiments. I came back because the files were declassified. I always suspected James had sabotaged the experiment. I had questions. Now I could find answers. Among them a solution to the digestive problems caused by the experiment. Yes. Thanks to Barclay's tampering, I am not only a monster, but one incapable of living without special food and care. I used my knowledge of science to make a dietary supplement to stay alive here. I couldn't go shopping here without attracting undue attention. Not looking like this. If Barclay sabotaged the experiment, he is obviously destroying all evidence of his crime. With the computer records gone, the only evidence left is you. By coming here, we may have led him straight to... Very good, Mr. Holmes. Thanks to you, I can finish cleaning up and leave the country. I've already changed my genetic ID, my fingerprints and retinas. I can disappear with millions of credits. Did you ever love Nancy? Oh, yes, of course. I loved her for everything she had. Wealth, power, position. Too bad you had to tell her the truth. What? Come now, Victor. I have to erase all the evidence, don't I? <laughs> Otherwise, they'll keep looking for me. You ruined me, but you won't hurt Nancy again. Victor, stop. Violence solves nothing. How could you hurt her? Victor, ask yourself. Who is the true monster here? And ask yourself who Nancy will see as the monster if you harm him. Thank you, Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson. You helped uncover the truth at long last. And put Barkley in jail awaiting trial. Good work, Holmes. But where is Victor? Here. Lestrade. Good to see you defending truth and justice once again. Well, now that Barclay's been caught, the influential friends who tried to cover up his crime have abandoned him. Grayson's off the hook, and I've been reinstated. My beloved Victor. Still the Victor I always knew and loved. Your mercy to James showed that. I never stopped loving you, Victor. Knowing you changed my life. No matter how your appearance has changed, you will always be the same Victor to me. Do you think they'll ever restore Victor to his human form? Rest assured, Nancy Barclay and Biotech will do all in their power to make it possible. But whatever happens, Victor is a fortunate man. Nancy Barclay's heart will always see what her eyes may not. The true man inside the beast. <laughs> <laughs>